So in this video, I'll talk about my Mac setup. So originally, I used to just have uh, my Mac by itself. But then what happened was my posture wasn't very good because I'm kind of tall and I was hunched over all the time using this computer. So that's why I decided to get a computer stand and a full-size keyboard um, and a computer mouse. Now, uh, this keyboard cost me roughly like $30 on Facebook Marketplace and this mouse cost me $4 on Facebook Marketplace. Cool thing about that is that if I were to get the official Apple Magic Mouse on the Apple website, it would cost $79. So this is just $4, so it's a pretty good deal to me. All right, and so it's pretty easy to use um, this mouse. But one of the things about this mouse is that because it's not the official Magic Mouse, it doesn't have the the gestures to switch desktops, right? So like normally, oh yeah, normally if you have a trackpad, right? You can just do a three finger swipe and change the uh, workspace, right? Yeah, but I wanted that feature on my mouse, so I had to do some customizations to make that work. All right, but before we go into that, oh yeah, I also wanted to talk about this. This is a cool little tool that I got from a career fair, and it allows you to convert one USB to multiple USB. So I have the keyboard wire, the white one plugged in, as well as this mouse wire, which is a black one plugged in as well. That way I can free up some of my USB ports that I have on the other side. Okay. Now, what else is there to note? Yeah, so with a, with a mouse on the Apple operating system, when you, uh, they have this thing called natural scrolling. Normally, when you go to some web page, right? Normally, when you go to a web page, if you're using Windows or Linux, the scrolling direction is when you scroll down on the scroll bar, it controls the scroll, uh, the scroll bar, the scroll wheel controls the scroll bar. But on the what was it called? On the Mac, with natural scrolling. When you scroll down on the scroll bar, it actually scrolls the page. All right, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so all right, so I have this tool here called Mouse Fix that fixes the uh, that fixes the uh, mouse scrolling direction. So if I leave this invert uh, direction unchecked, right, like that then this is normally how it is with natural scrolling. You scroll down and it scrolls the page. But I much prefer, I much prefer that when I scroll the scroll wheel, it scrolls the scroll bar. Like I prefer this much better. See, because it, because it fits more with Windows and Linux. All right, so that's one difference I made. Uh, so you, you can find this mouse uh, mouse fix tool if you go online and search it. Haha, my real name is showing up. <laughs> but yeah. And then also the I also uh, used X gestures. And for X gestures, what this allowed me to do is to kind of replicate those multi -ge multi touch gestures. So, if you go into applications here, you'll see that I have got app exposé move to left workspace like uh, move to right workspace and show desktop. These are custom shortcuts, custom gestures that I created that will make my work that will make my workflow more easy. All right. So normally, right? Let's say I go to here. This is some like blank workspace, right? If I take my mouse and I click on the scroll wheel and I move it to the right like that, then it's then it scroll. See that? See watch. Press, drag, press, drag, press, drag up. Wait, hold on, drag up. And it shows a thingy, uh, mission control, press scroll bar or scroll button, drag down. And yeah, so it's pretty cool. I just press a button. Wait, 
Hold on. Oh, I see. See that? Yeah, so I just made those customizations. You can make those customizations where you can just click click the uh, scroll wheel and drag to switch workspaces by using uh, this feature, um, which is to, inside of the applications folder, you wanna make sure you have new gestures to create a new gesture. Like for example, I'll show you this one, okay? Uh, this gesture, which is to move to left, work left workspace. I have it be a script that runs from this place and it runs the control left. All right, so basically, um, when you press the com control button and you press the arrow keys, right? Uh, like c control right, it goes to the right workspace, control left, it goes to the left workspace. So I basically wrote some Apple scripts that will simulate, uh, that'll simulate these kind of key presses. And every time I do a gesture, then it runs that particular Apple strip, right? So if you go into gesturing right here, you'll see that the gesture is tri triggered by middle mouse button. And let's look at the uh, move to left workspace, all right? So let's see this one, all right? So con and control left arrow dot script. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna look for, all right, so inside of, so this is inside of my mouse gestures folder. You'll see that this one is the, let's look at control left arrow, okay? So it just says, tell system events, key code one, two, one, two, three, which means left arrow, use using control down. So this says control left, all right? So if you wanted to do control up arrow, you would just do uh, key code one, two, six, which stands for up arrow using control down. So this basically says simulate a key press of control, control up. And these key codes, you can find them by Googling them online as well. Um, let me see if I can find the website where I got these key codes. Uh, stack, overflow, scroll up. Mm, I'm not sure if I can find it. Yeah, I think it was here. Yeah, see, look. So you want to look for the Stack Overflow where it says, how do I automate a key press in Apple Script from eight years ago? Or, and then you scroll down and you can look at all the different ways to run an Apple Script. I, in particular, use this one. Right, which says, this says one, two, three, using shift down and command down. That means it's gonna simulate the key press of the shift, the command button, and one, two, three. So this is command shift left. This one, two, three stands for left. And you know when you scroll down to the bottom with the key codes, it says one, two, three stands for left arrow, one, two, four is right arrow, one, two, five, down arrow, and one, two, six is up arrow. And so you wanna look for this post. All right, so wait, let me see if I copy the link. All right, let's go here. Okay, and I'm gonna paste it. Yep, so this is the full link right here. Or you can just search, how do I automate a key press in Apple script? And you should find the, you should find the post. But yeah, that's pretty much it for my setup.